G'day. Let's have a look at the different surface finishes that Nipex pliers come in. So I've got five different ones here. So we'll basically just go through what they are and then the drawbacks and the benefits of pros and cons on for each, because depending on your application, you might wanna go for a specific surface finish to make the most of the tool and to get the most out of that tool. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, we'll start on the left here. So you can see these, both of these, we've got these electrician shears and then we've got these nice super nips. So that's just two examples that I've got here, but let's obviously look at the surface finish of this. So you can see how that's super nice and shiny inox steel. So that means it's a stainless steel. Now the finish of this is simply polished. There's no other surface treatment. Obviously these are hardened, but there's no other surface treatment to them. So that is just a simple polish finish to them. And likewise with these super nips. Now the key feature is this is applied to stainless steel. So obviously you've got no rust and corrosion worries with stainless steel because inherently it just will not rust. So even if this is in wet environments and you use it quite a lot with moisture, you're not gonna have an issue with any rusting. So the main reason for actually using stainless steel and then not coating it is because this is ideal for working in clean rooms and electronics. So when you are working on small electronics and you're cutting things, you really don't want any of that metal or the finish flaking off into those electronics. Because if that happens, if the tool's damaged or you've got a little crack or anything like that, a little chunk of this will flake into the PCB or the board you're working with and it can short things. Primary use of this surface finish is when it comes to these electronics. And then obviously other stainless steel tools, they just don't need a surface finish because they can maintain that hard blade um, and keep a nice finish to them. These two in the middle here are both atramentized, just this one you've got the gray color and this one you've got the black color here. So this effectively is the same sort of surface treatment. These are all dipped in a phosphate bath at a very high temperature and then that metal of the plier will actually react with the solution and it will just form a microscopic crystal coating on the surface of these actual pliers. So the two different colors, we've got the gray ones again and the black ones. That just means it's just a slightly different solution that's used. So for the gray, you usually have an iron phosphate and for the black, you have a manganese phosphate. So slightly different. The gray has a little bit less corrosion protection and the black has slightly more corrosion protection. So usually some heavier use tools they'll usually go with the black, but you can usually find the tools in both of the coatings. So it really will just come down to the personal preference of what color you want when it comes to this. So this is good for an average user. If you're working in pretty normal environments, even a bit of moisture environments, these will be fine. These tools will resist rusting and corrosion pretty well, but you do have to look after them. So you do have to keep them clean. You should be keeping them oiled as well. So you can see, especially with these black ones as well, you can see there's a little bit of residue oil residue on top and they are just a bit shinier than, than this gray one here. That's just because it got a little bit extra oil applied to them. So just for uh, everyday use, DIY, any of that sort of stuff, this coating will be completely fine for you and it's a little bit cheaper than these other coatings here. And as well, so I just wanna show that as well, what you can do is you can see this is coated with that black coating on the side and actually inside the jaw, you've got that black coating there. But then on the outside, you can see it's actually being ground back and polished. So the reason that's done is just to maintain these nice tolerances and a nice clean finish to the tool. And likewise with these cutting faces. So we've got that gray color on the outside, but then obviously in that cutting face on the inside, that's just super nice and polished and it doesn't have that surface finish there. And again, that's just to maintain that tolerance. Uh, likewise with the cutting ones. And then also, with these tiny little Cobra excess pliers. This is really neat. They've got that nice black color to them. So that just kind of looks really cool for that surface finish to be there. And again, you get that two-tone color because usually they'll be a part of the jaws that are ground back. Um, likewise on these pliers wrench as well, that side of the jaw is just ground back. All right, so that's this finish. Then we pretty much move to your I guess best finish. And by best, I mean the best environmental resistant finish. So this here is chrome plated. Nipex does chrome plating and zinc plating. All of these ones here are chrome plated because chrome plate is just slightly better, stronger protection and a slightly more premium kind of feel to them than the zinc. So Nipex does apply chrome to a lot of their tools, but you can see quite a difference there. So for example, th these are both chrome finished, but then this one here is just polished just to give that slight different appearance to the tool. So this is nice and shiny and you can see comparing them to these ones here. So these are just both combination pliers. You can see those jaws are coated all the way around. So on the inside, as well as on the outside, you've got that same coating on them 
Whereas again, on these atramentized ones, you've, you've got that coating on the outside and on the inside, but the side is just ground off a little bit. So with the chrome coating or chrome plating of this, it's going to be all the way around the entire tool. It is also a really hard material, so the cutting jaws will also be coated in that. And when you cut, that will obviously wear over time, and that's probably going to, where you're going to see the most signs of wear and corrosion and rust but it does still have a really nice coating all the way through. So if you are working in wet environments or you, you live in a humid environment where there is a lot of humidity, then you really should be going with something like this chrome finish because you really don't have to look after the chrome. Obviously, give it a quick wipe, keep it clean, but that's it. It doesn't matter if there's moisture or residue that stays on this. You don't have to oil it. You don't have to polish it, nothing. So that's a really nice finish, especially with these pliers wrench here. You can also see comparatively. So personally, I reckon the gray one actually looks better. And I really like that two tone. So with that kind of polished up the top or cut and polished. Um, but again, the protection for these is just less. So if you are working, again, plumbing, wet environments where there's a lot of water or moisture, marine environments especially, or corrosive, or then again, clean rooms as well, and you wanna have a cleaner tool, then the chrome chrome is what you go for. And again, just have to point out these nice um, excess, uh, extra small pliers wrench. These are just really cool. And I just love how the whole thing is coated in that really nice matte chrome. I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, so that's the main main categories there. And then they also do some galvanizing as well. So these locking grip pliers are galvanized. So that is also kind of similar to this plating, I guess, but it is dipped in a zinc solution. So basically that zip co zinc coating will just stick to the outside. And that is what you get that finish, that galvanized finished for. So that's just the matte look. It is good for harsh environments. It will withstand moisture environments. So it also won't corrode. So that's a pretty good finish, but it's not as good as a full chrome coat to them. So Nipex just applies that finish to some of these other tools that will be in harsh environments but not used in water all the time. So that's basically it when it comes to their major categories of surface treatment. The only other one that I actually didn't mention is a powder coated. So usually a lot of their pipe wrenches will be powder coated because powder coating will just withstand moisture really well and chemical wear and tear. So it's really ideal for heavy duty use. So when it comes to pipe wrenches and big heavy duty tools, you can also get them in powder coated as well. I just haven't got any of them. I don't have a use for them, but so that's it. That's kind of the details of the different surface finishes and sort of the applications. As you can see, I've got a big mixture of them got a bunch of other tools here as well so at the end of the day it's really going to come down to your personal preference unless you have a specific environment that you are going to be working with if you're a plumber if you work with water marine environment clean rooms anything like that you want to go with the chrome coating or that just polished stainless steel but if you're just using this as an everyday contractor diy anything like that that you just use it in normal everyday environment your atraumatized tools are going to be completely fine you just want to again keep them clean make sure dirt doesn't build up on them give them a nice wipe and then oil them so any tool or machinist oil will be fine just to keep that little barrier on the top to keep the moisture away from them as well all right so that's it i'll put links down to all of these tools below so you can check them out if you're interested in anything again keep in mind though that pretty much all of these tools do come in multiple different finishes as well so if you do want a specific finish then just obviously keep that in mind now go check out my other video where i actually did a video comparing all the nipex handles that they do because you can see there's quite a lot of different handles that you can get these tools in and again different handles have different uses so depending on what you're using this stuff for you want to go for the right handle so i'll link that video make sure you check that out as well because it is again really useful and it will just help you find the perfect tool for your need and those are the two things you want to be watching out for so obviously once you've got a tool to so say you want a pliers wrench then you want to figure out what surface finish you want and what grips you want to actually have on that tool so you can make the most of it and it can be just the most useful for your application all right awesome thanks very much for watching hit that subscribe and like button so i can continue to make these videos Check out those links below if you're buying these tools. Using those links does support the channel and that's very much appreciated. So as always, have a good one.